I greet everybody in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I really thank God. This is very good opportunity to watch rightly to bring word of truth. So I wanted to speak Stephen is a very good man of God. Uh, he was a minister after apostle lay hands and Stephen was filled uh, before before lay hands he was he was uh, uh, he received the holy ghost and he has very good testimony and after lay hands and he started to preach we see in act chapter 7 uh, 7 and people are listening he spoke uh, about abraham uh, ibrahim and uh, isaac and jacob and moses and also david and salomon the scribes and Pharisees, they were listening, they were listening. And he spoke all history of, from, uh, you know, Ibrahim, uh, Abraham, and also Isaac, Jacob. From the old covenant, he started to speak to the people. But people are listening, listening, listening. And he came at Acts chapter 7, verse 51, has not my hand made all things use stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and years you do always resist the holy ghost and your father did so do you when of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted and they have slain them which he showed before of the coming of Jesus, just one, of whom you have been now, the betrayers and murderers. We have received the law by the dispersion of angels and have not kept it. it was 54. When they heard these things, they were cut they were cut to the heart and they gnashed on him with the teeth and he spoke and your fathers killed so many prophets you you murder that just uh, justice person means who is called jesus christ and they cut out their heart and gnashed their teeth verse 55 but he, but he, being full of Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. And he, he spoke, he is filled by Holy Ghost. And glory of God and Jesus standing on the right, of, right hand of God. He saw Jesus Christ because of he standing on the right hand of God and he spoke this word with that people and verse uh, uh, 25, 57 then they cried out with a loud voice and they stopped their ears and run upon him with one accord was 58 and cast him out of the city and stoned him and the witness laid down their clothes at a young man's feet, whose name was Saul. And they sound Stephen calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Was sixty, and he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. So the people took him into in out of city, and they, he was killed by stones. That people taken stones and and bait him Stephen, and with he cried with with his spirit. He cried with big voice, Lord, receive my spirit. So he asked, Lord, receive my spirit. So, and again he says, lay not the sin to their church. See how a grateful faith 
how he has great faith, is a true man of God. While they were beating him, he did not scold, he did not blame. And also he said, he says, lay not their sins into their charge. It means, Father God in heaven, please forgive them. Lay not this sin into their charge. See, Jesus Christ, when he was crucified on the cross, he also said, Father, please forgive them. Even Stephen also, he said, Lord, receive my spirit, forgive them. Because of he did not use filthy things. Even if any person blame you, you can use filthy language. If they beat you, you can use filthy language. If they scold you, you can use filthy language. But he never used filthy language because of he is a true man of God. But people misunderstood. He spoke very, very clearly. You murderer him. You have killed Jesus Christ. God, but God, God made him as a Lord and Christ. But people did not understand his preaching and also they killed him, Stephen. But he asked, Lord, receive my spirit. You should have this kind of heart. Everybody has, uh, everybody should have this kind of heart. Even though there are so many people and false prophets also, they blamed me and they scold me. They, they tried to beat me and they tried to kill me. But God has saved me and God protected me by their terrible hands. Even false prophets have terrible hands. They can kill at any time. Even Stephen was killed. And he asked Lord, forgive them. I, I also pray so many times those who I am suffering by uh, some prophets, some uh, my enemies. I pray sometimes, Father God, please forgive them because of they don't know what should they preach. They are preaching some another doctrine which is uh, not written in the Bible. They are preaching out of the Bible. I prayed for that pro false prophets. If you are willing, please, please choose them and elect, elect them according to your willing. As you elected me in your purpose before foundation of the world. So you can... And Lord, Father, God in heaven chose that false prophets and changed their mind and changed their heart, changed change their uh, terrible hands. I pray sometime. Thank you so much for watching.